A U.S. Coast Guard cutter made a rare solo transit through the Taiwan Strait on June the 20th, which came a day after Secretary of State Antony Blinken concluded his two-day visit to Beijing. The U.S. frequently sends ships through the Taiwan Strait, but U.S. Navy warships typically make the transits. U.S. Coast Guard cutters have sailed through the sensitive waterway in recent years, but are usually accompanied by a Navy ship. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet announced the transit on Thursday, describing it as, quote, routine. But the maneuver comes amid heightened tensions between the United States and China, and Beijing has become increasingly fed up with U.S. military activity in the region. Chinese officials have condemned U.S. transits of the Taiwan Strait as provocations. The Chinese Coast Guard described the U.S. transit as, quote, public hype and said vessels tailed the cutter all the way through the strait. And according to Japan Times, the incident was the first known time that the Chinese Coast Guard responded to a foreign vessel sailing through the waterway as opposed to the Chinese military. The Chinese Coast Guard vowed to, quote, resolutely safeguard national sovereignty, security, and maritime rights and interest. The U.S. Coast Guard has vowed to increase its presence near China's coast and is expected to soon start joint patrols with the Philippines in the South China Sea, which would potentially put the U.S. vessels in confrontation with the Chinese Coast Guard. This is coming from Zero Hedge. I'll leave the link down below. What are your thoughts and concerns? Leave them down as well. Also, we have all-day news coverage on our Twitch, Texas News Studio TV on Twitch. I'll leave the link down below as well, and we'll talk to you soon after the next report. See you then.